I have a very special guest with me this morning, Dr. Eleanor McCants Katz. She is the Assistant Secretary for Mental Health and Substance Use. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Thank you for asking me. I understand that this is the first position of its kind, so congratulations for being the first. Obviously this signals a, a newfound focus on mental health. Yes, it does. And so my position was created in the 21st Century Cures Act, which was passed in December of 2016. It created the Assistant Secretary for Mental Health and Substance Use. And that position encompasses uh, a previously existing position of the Administrator of the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, but added responsibilities. And those responsibilities included coordinating and working collaboratively with other divisions within Health and Human Services, as well as other departments within the federal government to better serve Americans living with mental and substance use disorders. And then the second major focus is development of the workforce and bringing more, um, more qualified practitioners into behavioral health fields. You mentioned the opioid crisis. Would you say that's the major issue that you're facing today? I would say that is the most urgent issue. We had over 44,000 Americans die in 2016 of opioid overdose. Um, but I would also say that, that um, serious mental illness is the second huge priority. So those are the two major priorities mm -hmm. as far as SAMHSA goes, the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. It's, it's opioids and it's serious mental illness. You're here at APA annual meeting and you are the convocation speaker. So give me a sense of what your talk was about and what the main takeaways were. This was really, I was just so very honored to, to be asked to do this. Um, so what I, I took advantage of this talk to really thank a lot of people that have been so important to my development as a psychiatrist. Um, that was very important to me to have the opportunity to do the American Psychiatric Association is, um, it, it really is kind of that, that that stable organization that, that one just looks to for, for colleagues and for support mm -hmm. for your entire career. So I've moved around a lot, but right. I've been a member of APA since, uh, since I was an intern. So, uh, so they've always been there for me. So that was an opportunity. The other thing I talked about though, was the, really the importance of bringing psychiatry into government roles, um, not only at the federal level, which is important, but also at state and local levels, because that mm -hmm. voice of psychiatry, we're the ones who are caring for people who are living with mental and substance use disorders. We need to inform people who regulate us, people who make decisions about how health care is undertaken in our country and who may have no experience at mm -hmm. all in what we do. And so that voice of psychiatry is so important. Sounds like a big undertaking. So what are quickly the first few steps that you would take in trying to accomplish that? Making SAMHSA into an agency that provides uh, training and technical assistance to the nation mm -hmm. so that we can that we can disseminate evidence-based practices so that Americans get the care and treatment that they need in addition to prevention and recovery services and uh, making sure making sure that uh, that the instructions from Congress, which have been very specific about the kinds of services we need to provide, are actually in place and making sure that those services are serving Americans. So looking at how we collect data and using that data to make sure the programs achieve the purposes they're intended for and looking at that data to determine where we need to make sure these services are, are available. Wow, well thank you so much for sitting down with me, doctor, and enjoy the rest of your time in New York. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.